controversial art exhibit that's gone up in the West Bank, an exhibition that doesn't take place in a museum or a gallery, but right on the streets of Bethlehem. Here's our culture correspondent, Maya Margit. The writing's on the wall, and it features U.S. President Donald Trump, Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, and yes, even Larry David. Or is that Bernie Sanders? New graffiti on the Israeli separation barrier in Bethlehem is turning heads and stopping tourists in their tracks. Mysterious Australian artist Lush Sucks is the man behind the art. When I see the artists, I feel that they have empathy for us, that perhaps the Palestinian people don't want them to come and paint and then go. The American president promised several times to solve the Palestinian issue. And you are here in town, and you see the situation has not changed. The West Bank security barrier has long been a target for street artists, both pro-Israeli and pro-Palestinian. But Lush Sucks has taken graffiti to a new level, with huge murals of many familiar faces, most painted based on what the artist's Twitter followers voted for. But some say the art, which does not directly mention the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, misses the mark. I, I think it has no place here. Um, I think it is all a joke, which, which I think our political leader is a joke. But I don't think it has any significance of what this wall stands for or bringing it down is going to help. It's more like a comic strip. I think the wall risks at being, becoming kind of a street art gallery rather than actually uh, politicizing what it's about. It's not the first time Lush Sucks uses the separation barrier as his canvas. Back in August, he painted Trump embracing a watchtower. And commenting on the U.S.-Mexico border wall, the president plans to build political statements that are both off the wall and on it. Maya Margit, I-24 News. And Maya's with us now in studio. Maya, of course, many artists use the separation barrier as a canvas. A lot of times, though, it is to draw attention to the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, the situation on the ground in the West Bank. This is different because it doesn't really touch on it, as you mentioned, and that's generating a lot of frustration and even anger. Yeah, I mean, it does have one quote from Nelson Mandela where he does mention the Palestinian people, but overall it's it's very political, but it's politics outside of Israel and outside of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. You know, the separation barrier has become a destination for street artists, from Banksy to, you know, Lush Sucks, and some Palestinians especially feel that it's not really helping the situation because it's turning the wall into an art gallery or something beautiful or aesthetic. So they feel that th that's not a very good thing, but the artists, on the other hand, they're saying that they're trying to bring attention to the barrier and bring the world's attention to that area. On some level, it brings tourists, right? Tourists who right. spend money at some of the nearby West Bank cafes and restaurants and shops. Yeah, just nearby, in fact, you have Banksy's Waldorf Hotel, which is also another art kind of thing happening right next to the barrier. It's also bringing tourists. So it is bringing people to look at the wall and take photographs. As you can see in the report, people are stopping by. They're taking selfies. So in, on the one hand, it attracts people. But on the other hand, some people feel like it's a little bit iffy. Uh, we're running out of time, but you know, this artist, Lush Sucks. Who yes. is Lush Sucks and you know, what's he about? So obviously his real name isn't Lush Sucks because that would be kind of weird. It's an, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, makes sense. It's an alias, you know, he's a street artist, so he wants to keep his identity hidden, uh, just like Banksy, for instance. He's from Melbourne, Lush Sucks. He's from Melbourne in Australia. Uh, he's very famous for doing these giant murals of celebrities. He did a really big one in Melbourne like a, a year back or so of Hillary Clinton dressed in a bikini, and many people got very upset. They almost fined him or arrested him even. And so what he did in response is he covered Hillary Clinton in a kneecap, like a full frontal veil so that you couldn't see anything anymore. That was his response. So he's 